Hello, I am Sunita. Welcome to my class. Here I am going to discuss Karnataka TT science topics according to the syllabus. Here the topic is acid, base and salt. Let us discuss in detail. Let us discuss next one. What is mean an acid and a base? An acid is an any hydrogen containing substance that is capable of donating a proton or hydrogen ion to another substance. An acid is nothing but it contains hydrogen. Then it is able to donate a proton or H plus ion to another substance. A base is a molecule or ion able to accept a hydrogen from an acid. A base is nothing but it is able to accept a hydrogen ion or H plus ion from an acid. Acid substances are usually identified by their sour taste. Acid normally they will be in sour taste. An acid is basically a molecule which can donate an H plus ion and can remain energetically favorable after a loss of H plus ion. Even acid if it is gives H plus ion to another substance also that acid it will be energetically favorable or energetically stable. Then acid are known to turn blue litmus paper to red. The next one base on the other hand are characterized by a bitter taste. Base they will be in the bitter taste and a slippery texture. A base can be dissolved in water is referred to as an alkali. If base is dissolved in water then it will form an alkali. When these substances chemically react with acid they yield salt. Acid plus base react to give salt and water. Base are known to turn red litmus paper to blue. Bases normally they will turn red litmus paper to blue. Here you have to remember important points. Acid is nothing but it contains hydrogen ion. Then it is able to donate H plus ion to another substance. Base is nothing but it can accept H plus ion from an acid. Acid it will be sour taste. Base it will be in bitter taste. Acid it will convert blue litmus paper to red. Base it will convert red litmus paper to blue. Next one pH of an acid or a base in order to find the numerical value of the level of acidity or basicity of a substance the pH scale where pH stand for potential of hydrogen can be used. If a given substance how much it will be acidic or basic it will be measured by pH scale. pH scale pH stand for potential of hydrogen. What is the potential of hydrogen it will be measured by pH scale. The pH scale is the most common and trusted way to measure how acidic or basic is a substance. How much whether a given substance is how much acidic or basic is measured by a pH scale. A pH scale measure can vary from 0 to 14. The pH scale the starting value is 0 and ending value it will be 14. The range it will be 0 to 14. The range of the pH scale it will be 0 to 14. Where 0 is the most acidic and 14 is the most basic a substance can be. If you are getting a value 0 then it will indicate the substance is more acidic. If pH is 14, it will indicate the substance is most basic in nature. Properties of an acid or base. Let us first discuss the properties of an acid. First one, acids are corrosive in nature. Normally all the acids, they will be corrosive in nature. And second one, they are good conductor of electricity. With the acid, acid it is, it is usually it will conduct electricity easily it will pass electricity through it therefore acid is a good conductor of electricity in chemistry lab when we are doing any experiments if you want to pass an electricity with any solvent normally we will add few drops of acid in a particular solvent then third one their ph value is always less than 7 normally the acid the ph value of an acid is always less than 7 Fourth one, when acid react with a metal, the substance produces hydrogen gas. When any metal react with an acid, then the reaction, chemical reaction, it will occur. It will indicate liberation of hydrogen gas. Then next one, acids are sour tasting substance. 
normally the acid they will be in sore taste then some of the examples of acids are sulfuric acid h2so4 hydrochloric hydrochloric acid hcl then acetic acid ch3 cooh these are the some few chemical properties of an acid properties of a bases let us discuss some of the properties of a bases some properties like a bitter taste almost all the bases they will be bitter in taste and they will feel slippery too if you touch the base then you will feel slippery they are found to have a soapy texture when touched if you touch the base then we, then you will feel soapy texture then next one the substance release hydroxide ion when dissolved in water if you dissolve any base in water then it will produce a hydroxide ion the next one in aqueous solution base act as a good conductor of electricity aqueous solution means if you dissolve base to a water then it will produce a hydroxide ion already you know because of the presence of hydroxide ion this hydroxide ion then it will behaves as a good conductor of electricity because of this hydroxide ion the base easily it can pass electricity to through it then ph value corresponding to base are always greater than 7 this one also you have to remember normally the base the ph value of a base is always greater than 7 bases are bitter tasting substance substance which have the ability to turn red litmus paper to blue normally the base it will turn red litmus paper to blue then some of the examples of bases are sodium hydroxide naoh milk of magnesium mgoh twice calcium hydroxide chhoh twice these are the some of the example of a base the properties of base is very very important you have to remember the properties of a bases let us recall the difference between acid and a base first one acid acid gives off hydrogen ions when dissolved in water normally acid when it is dissolved in water it will gives hydrogen ion then next one base base gives hydroxide ion when dissolved in water the base if it is dissolved in water then it will gives a hydroxide ion oh minus ion that is the first difference second one acid it turns blue color litmus paper into red then base it turns red color litmus paper into blue third difference acid normally they 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 will be in sour taste base they will be in the bitter taste and soapy to touch acid the ph value of an acid ranges from 1 to 7 then the ph value of uh, base it will ranges from 7 to 14 then example of some acids are hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid etc and some example of bases are sodium hydroxide naoh and koh potassium hydroxide these are the few difference main difference between acid and base reaction of acid and bases reaction of acid and bases with metals here acid react with active metal it will gives salt and hydrogen gas plus heat it will get liberated here for example hydrochloric acid is an acid react with active metal magnesium then it will gives magnesium chloride salt and with the liberation of hydrogen gas and heat here you have to remember any acid react with metal it will gives salt and with the liberation of hydrogen and heat next one base react with metal again it will gives salt and hydrogen and heat here sodium hydroxide is a base react with metal zinc you will get sodium zinc oxide with the liberation of hydrogen and heat here also you have to remember any base react with metal it will give salt and with the liberation of hydrogen and heat next one a more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal from its base here normally in a chemical reaction the more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal here sodium is is more reactive compared to magnesium therefore sodium it will displace from magnesium 
hydroxide then it will gives sodium hydroxide and magnesium these are the few reactions of acid and bases next one reaction of acid with metal carbonate and bicarbonate any acid react with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate it will gives salt water and carbon dioxide here first example hcl hydrochloric acid react with calcium carbonate it will gives calcium chloride and water and carbon dioxide here calcium chloride is a salt calcium carbonate is metal carbonate the next one h2so4 sulfuric acid react with magnesium bicarbonate then you will get magnesium sulfate salt plus water plus with the liberation of carbon dioxide gas effervescence indicate the liberation of carbon dioxide gas when you are doing the experiment the effervescence the effervescence it will indicate the liberation of carbon dioxide gas therefore you have to remember here any acid react with either a metal or metal carbonate then you will get respective salt and water and with the liberation of carbon dioxide gas reaction of metal oxides and hydroxide with acid metal oxides and metal hydroxides are basic in nature general reaction acid react with base you will get salt water with the liberation of heat here sulfuric acid react with magnesium oxide you will get magnesium sulf sulfate plus water then hydrochloric acid react with magnesium hydroxide you will get magnesium chloride plus water then next reaction reaction of non metal oxides with base non metal oxides are acidic in nature metal oxides and metal hydroxides are basic in nature but non metal oxides are acidic in nature here base plus non metal oxide react to gives a salt water and with the liberation of heat for example sodium hydroxide react with carbon dioxide you will get sodium carbonate plus water salt a salt is a combination of an anion of an acid and a cation of a base always salt it is a combination of anion and cation anion of an acid and a cation of a base for example potassium chloride if you split this one then you will get k plus cl minus salt is a combination of both anion and also cation here also sodium nitrate calcium sulfate etc salts are usually prepared by the neutralization reaction of an acid and a base what is mean by a neutralization reaction neutralization reaction is nothing but an acid and a base combines to form a salt and water this type of reaction we will call it as a neutralization reaction then here common salt sodium chloride nacl is referred to as a common salt because it is used all over the world for cooking then what is mean by family of salt salts having the same cation or anion belonging to the same family if you are having a group of salts if anion either anion or cation if it is same for the all the salts then it will be called consider as a family of a salt let us consider an example here sodium chloride potassium chloride lithium chloride here the anion in this group it will be same chloride 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 then this group we will can we will call it as a family of the salt otherwise same family of the salts then next one what is mean by ph of salts how you will calculate the ph of a salt a salt if if you get a salt it is a combination of either a strong acid and a strong base then the nature of the salt it will be neutral in nature this ph it should be 7 if you are having a ph 7 it will indicate the nature of the salt is a neutral in nature the next one if you are getting a salt combination of a weak acid and a strong base then the nature of the salt it will be basic in nature then ph it should be greater than 7 ph is greater than 7 it is indicated the salt it should be in basic in nature and if you are getting a salt the combination of strong acid and a weak base then the nature of the salt is acidic in nature then ph it will be less than 7 ph less than 7 it will indicate 
the salt it should be acidic in nature the ph of a salt of a weak acid and a weak base is determined by, by determined by conducting a ph test let us discuss more about ph scale the ph scale range from 1 to 14 if the ph is exactly 7 it will indicate the neutral neutral solution as the ph is decreasing from 7 like 6 5 4 3 2 1 then the acidic acidity of the solution it will be increases as the ph is increasing after 7 like 8 9 10 11 12 up to 14 the basic nature of the solution it will be increases if the ph is exactly 1 it will indicate the solution is more acidic if the ph is 14 it will indicate the solution is more basic ph the formula is given by ph it will be equal to minus log h plus in pure water h plus concentration of h plus and concentration of oh minus ion it will be equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 mole per liter hence ph of pure water is 7 this one you have to remember ph of pure water it will be equal to 7 the ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 if ph is less than 7 it will be acidic solution if the ph is more than 7 greater than 7 it will be the solution it will be basic in nature let us discuss the importance of ph in our daily life otherwise how plants animals soils and in our body also what is the certain limit of the ph then what is the importance of the ph let us discuss here ph sensitive of plants and animals even plants and animals they are very sensitive to ph for a certain ph even plants and animals they will involve certain uh, important functions let us see here plants and animals are sensitive to ph crucial life process such as digestion of food also it will involve a ph then functions of enzymes and hormones normally uh, normally especially human body especially girls there is a variation of hormones it will takes place especially in girls this variation of hormones it is it will be controlled by a ph the next one ph of a soil ph of a soil optimal for the growth of plants or crops ph it should be 6.5 to 7 if you are having the ph in between 6.5 to 7 then in that particular soil then you will get a good yield of the particular crop and also plant then how the ph it will help in helpful in digestion of food in the human being ph in the digestive system the process of digestion happens at a specific ph in our stomach the ph it should be 1.5 to 4 the range the range of ph in our stomach 1.5 to 4 at this particular ph the digestion of the food it will takes place the ph of the interaction of enzyme while food is being digested is influenced by hcl in our stomach normally in our stomach hydrochloric acid is there this hydrochloric acid it will help the food to digest very easily then ph of this hydrochloric acid it it will be it will be in between 1.5 to 4 if you are having the ph more than 4 then your body it will feel acidic then you are feeling some burning sensation then vomiting then uh, your uh, stomach ph value it will be increase then you if you want to reduce that ph value you have to add a base if acid react with base then it will get neutralized in this way you can acidity of your body you can control very easily the next one ph in tooth decay tooth decay happens when the teeth are exposed to an acidic environment of ph is 5.5 and below if tooth decay normally everyone they are facing this problem if your ph value in your tooth if it is increased if the ph is 5.5 or below then your tooth decay it will start then you have to consult your doctor the next one ph of self defense by animals and plants acidic substances are used by animals and plants as a self defense mechanism 
for example bee and plants like needle secretes a highly acidic substance for self defense these secreted acidic substance have a specific ph these are the very important of ph in our daily life thanks for listening my class send me your valuable feedback thank you